Hey everyone, what is up? It is the Unpro Pro. All right, this is a tutorial for Spooch PG. That is an amazing name. I like it. Spooch. It's amazing. It kind of like makes you have like a strong emphasis on ch at the end. I like it. All right, so I'm going to be making a little map really quick, and this tutorial will be on how to detect if a rock is on a switch. This is my map. <laughs> All right, so um, let's make a rock. I'm going to name this thing. We're going to name it, actually. You, it's... You don't have to, but just remember what it's named. E Bandit 001, whatever it might be. I'm going to name it Rock Paper Slither. No. All right. So I'm going to give it the graphic of a rock. Where are you, Rock? Where's the rock? Skimmy doo ma 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 Oh. All right. She's a great rock. So what you're going to want to do is first you're going to go to your rock event. If you already, you should already know how to push the rock, but just in case. Conditional branch, player, okay, character, actually, in tab three, is facing left. Or no, so let's just do down. If he's facing down, then you are going to do set move route, this event, the rock, move down. All right, wait. Um, You also want to do skip if cannot move. You want to check that box too. Alrighty, so now you're gonna copy that and paste it. Click here on the very top thing, press control, hold control and press C. Then click underneath and hold control and press V. You're gonna wanna paste it three times, so you have a total of four of them. Press space, okay, click on this thing, press space to edit. You're going to do, if he's facing left, press space and edit on this uh, move event, delete that, move left. Then do the same thing. Left, right, move right. And up. If it's facing up, and we are going to do move up. So that's how we can determine where our um our rock actually is. So yeah. Now we're going to do we're gonna make a little comedy or uh, not comedy a parallel process, and this is going to check where the rock is. So what you want to do is you want to do control variables. You want to find a blank variable that you've never used yet. In this case, variable one for me. But you're probably going to be using different ones if you already have variables. So I'm going to name this variable Scatman. Um, no, let's do it more fitting. <laughs> no, actually, I, I'll, I'll be all serious. I'm sorry. I forgot. So you want to do Rx for rock X. You want to make another variable called Ry for rock Y, not Ruby. Hey, Rui, like in uh, Pokemans. Um, the Game Boy one. Or not Game Boy, ah, GameCube one. What am I talking about? Alright. So, RX and RY. So, set RX. Click set. Game data. Double click this. Double click where it says map ID. And you want to do character. You want to select rock. You would then you select map X. Alright. Yeah, copy that and paste it with Control C and then Control V. Press space to edit it, and we're gonna set R Y. Double click this and make it the same thing, but map Y. Make sure this is a parallel process. So now you're gonna to want to find where you're. We're gonna make a switch now. Make this called. Let's call it switch. <clears throat> All right, and if you want your switch to be random, I'll, I'll show you the best method to do this. So we're gonna name this switch, and we are going to go down to switch. Let's give it a button. Let's give it a button. I like buttons. Oh. All right, so you're just gonna click OK on that as long as you have your switch there. Now you're going to do control. We're gonna copy the uh, map X and Y. We're gonna edit the third one. We're gonna make SX standing for switch X and then SY. In case you want to move your switch later on during the game, like you edit the map, you don't have to edit this event at all. That's why this is like the best kind of method to do this. So you want to set it to switch X. Make sure SX is set to switch X. And SY is set to switch. Make sure, make absolutely sure you're doing switch. So it should look like rock, rock, switch, switch. Okay. R R S S. That's what it should look like. Now you want to run a conditional branch, and you want to say variable R X is equal to variable S X. Uncheck the set handling box. 
copy that and paste it in itself and you press space to edit that and you're gonna do ry is equal to sy so what you're basically saying here is if rx is equal to sx which is the switch x and ry is equal to switch y then you're going to trigger the event holy bananas batman All right, let's try that. OMG. Now I have not rehearsed this. I can just kind of doing it out of memory. It should work. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to uh, check the throwing box. So on the switch, you want to make sure you have throw on. So you can go over the switch and the, no. Oh. And the uh, events can go over the switch. All right. Try this again. Single. See this. Okay. It's counting Japanese here, man. Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Roku. Holy bananas, Batman. I'm a Batman. So that's how you, that's how you can um, trigger an event that's being, that has like that. So there you go, Spooch. I hope this helped. Of course, you're going to want to, you know, like, tweak it. Priority below characters. You might want to do this as above. I don't know. It's up to you. All right. So uh, that's how you do it. And I thank you all for watching. And Spooch, I hope this helped. See you later.